Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mode Monday. Today we have Stalin, Lenin, and more power plants. Okay, just a heads up, uh, some of the guys released amazing, amazing... Uh, mods models uh, i only covered some of them uh you have lex for example releasing lex 713 releasing a lot of models uh, separate ones american style buildings you need to go and check that uh, out and uh, tesmio also has nice hospital with skins as well there's like five six seven maps released i hope i'm gonna bring you the best ones uh but definitely they're best ones for me First is the first, Monuments of Dubna, and of course, that's my favorite model by Demon Droll. Uh, these are actually quite interesting ones. Uh, you have here uh, English description. I will leave description for you. It starts as a monuments of Lenin and Stalin on the outskirts of Dubna, Moscow region, uh, were built in 1937. I will just really leave it here and you have to go and check it out. It's 11 meters tall, 500 tons. Uh, Stalin doesn't exist anymore during the 50s, 56 and afterwards uh, the, the age of destalinization happened and Stalin monument here on the left uh, is no more. You can only find Lenin monument now, but um, yeah, fortunately slash unfortunately, however we want to say it, but this is definitely my favorite. I think we are missing more of the, these controversial controversial uh, models. I like the steer, the stir the plot out. Up. Um, but anyway, uh, these two models, we're gonna go and check the details of them. They do have a lot of loyalty influence. Of course, they are monumental monuments they are quite quite impressive um in general so just a heads up uh, i really really do like them uh what else can i say about them yeah they're the most expensive monuments it, well, compare them to vanilla ones uh the vanilla the biggest one and more influential is the the most influential is red star, red star monument 17,000 rubles has five point two percent in 415 meters distance um uh, something similar would be the uh, lenin monument it would be uh 8.5 percent 600 meters and the same one would be for stalin as well you can build lighter or or either or in this case again they are more or less 50 percent more expensive they have 50 percent more uh, government loyalty influence and they also have the 50 percent more range so technically in one monument you get a little bit more range but since it's 50% more expensive, I cannot consider it to be a fair price. And I like these monuments, my favorite ones. You will see them in my Let's Plays. Now, I was supposed to put another Lexus building in here, uh, another Lex 312 model, but um, I put Palm Trees Pack. This is actually quite significant, at least in my book. I think we're missing more of these. Now, um, uh, most of the foliage, more most of the trees here that you can find in this game are mostly related to the Soviet Union and historical Soviet republics. Uh, but we are missing more of these. If you want to play different uh, parts of the world, uh, this is definitely something that I would like to see. Even even for Soviet Union, I would like to see the oak trees. That would be really great. And more models like these are more than welcome. So I'm gonna say say just because of that, not just because of that. This is a ma magnificent model, and I'm gonna be using it. I think we need more of these. I would like to see oak trees. I would like to see more of the trees put in this game so we can uh, place them around. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know how to, what to say about this. Um, in the description, you will I will read it now. Pack of three animated palm trees can be found under power plant tab to make animation more randomized. Rotate each tree before placing it. Now, I would beg the differ. I would say don't rotate them because uh, they're going to be swinging more or less in the same size like realistic trees would be in the wind. Uh, uh, they would be uh, pointed in a different directions if you rotate them they would be more randomized but um, i don't think that's more or less how the trees work especially in the windy areas where i live uh, here in ireland you would find a lot of trees or even the whole forest tilted towards where the wind blows and all the trees trees would be the similar so i i think you should place them in the same direction all of them just because i think it's, it's going to be a little bit more realistic but um yeah uh, definitely close sec second now the 
negative side of it. Uh, it's because it's placed in a power plant. So I'm not sure if other modders will be used, can use them to build the whole maps with these trees. And I don't think they can be harvested for wood as well, which in reality, in realism, you would be doing something like that. But anyway, you can find them in the power plant section all the way in the back for me, at least because it's recently installed. Anyway, link in the description of the video. Now you're going to love this one. This is a uh, ZGRLS, that would be ZGRLS Duga, um, that would be in Cyrillic, and the uh, radar station Duga. Uh, description in the Russian, but also you have the English description, antenna part 1, antenna part 2, gate, building 1, building 2, radio station, and infrastructure object. Right, I do not really know what they do here, this is the... Uh, it's probably a radio station, yeah. This is a radio station and the other one is just a... Uh nothing just a building you have the gates and this is something that they think we need more of um i mean this is a road gate but you're gonna see that you don't have any roads coming to it all, all them actually. and of course you have a segments of the dugar station i'm pretty sure that most of you guys watching this you know what this is but duga is the um is was a military object uh, officially it was just a radar but unofficially you know what i mean you know there was a fishy thing going there if you played stalker you would know um, but it was a military complex near the today in Ukraine in Chernobyl or Ch Chernobyl region. So uh, definitely something that you should explore and read about because it was absolutely amazing. I think it was an early radar system that used even the atmosphere to bounce the signal off so you can detect the launches of the missiles like half a planet away or something. So um, it's really, really interesting. Now, the, this is only one segment of the Duga. Um, you can go in all the way in the end, for me at least. You have the gates here as you can see it uh, doesn't really have any connections to the roads i'm pretty sure you will be able to build the road uh, through here or you you would be placing it um after you build the road so you will be building a piece of road like this and then go to the go in the end nope we're gonna have to go from the beginning and then place the gates uh right over here uh on the road and then you would have these entrance to the uh, to this complex. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, so the next buildings that we have here is the uh, The antenna I think these are the pillars in the end of antenna and then you have the antenna complex here That you can actually just combine yourself, you know as you wish and build as big as you want now Officially, they don't have any oh it's a government loyalty 80% I just noticed that three kilometers away yeah in the video games like they use it as a mind control thing or at least story goes something like that so so it's kind of wow <laughs> wow okay I it's it's cheaty it's cheaty definitely so but it's up to you if you want to use something like that this is a huge influence and <laughs> it's quite funny but anyway this is an iconic object for Soviet republics it's uh, one of those secret military projects that they had um, officially as a radar station unofficially mind controlling device and stuff uh, but really really iconic thing now I, I can't really co compare the price I can compare the price of the radio station uh, which I will so we have the uh, radio station would be here we go radio uh, 31,000 32,000 rubles and if we go into the uh, government section here sorry that would be people section and radio station would be <laughs> 10 times less so yeah it's quite affordable radio station i won't go and say that this is a, a realistic mod and priced properly but uh, there we go we have duga 3 at least the first model of it we have a wooden USSR barracks by Vajir King or Vajir King. I don't know how, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but uh, specs, this is living quality of 0 0.75, would that be 75%? Wood interior for quality, accommodates 29 workers, self-heated, added uh, particles in chimneys. Um, it takes how much you need to build it, uh, five, five tons uh, of gravel, uh, 4.2 tons of concrete, boards 21 tons, bricks one and a half ton, and steel 1.8 tons steel roof. Um, this model is revamped skin version, yada yada yada, you have all these details there. Now why is this interesting, at least uh, for me this is really really interesting, I love these. Um, these kind of buildings were built before the cities were built, for example, um, I think Chalabinsk is one of the main um, 
examples uh, where they built these simple houses for the workers that build steel mills. And then these workers actually worked in the steel mills while some other people were constructing their homes or they were constructing their homes as well in Chelyabinsk, which was all close by, like industries and the city and all that stuff. You know, now it's not that great because of the pollution, but um, um, it's I think it's an iconic thing in development of the Soviet, early Soviet Union. So I really, really like this. And if I ever play early start or anything like that, I'm going to be using these mods. Now, let's check it out. Uh, how much does this cost? It's 28 people. Should be pretty, pretty simple to find this. Right. It would be the last one over here. Wooden USS Barracks. This is 4,000 for 29 workers. Okay. So vanilla one, we have 33,000 here. Again, more or less, this is more, more expensive than these little flats, prefab flats. And it's much, much more realistic and uh, lower quality of living. What, what, what did we say about the quality? Yeah, it's 75%, 0.75. So it's really great. Self-heating as well. That's really, really nice. You don't need to have a heating plant in your early uh, Republic. So absolutely magnificent mod. One of my favorites. We have one of the common, the most common guests on this channel, Rob074, and oil storages. Five oil storages based on real objects in Lublin, Poland. Store 250, 600, 750, 1,250, and two and a half thousand tons of oil. You have description in Polish as well. Classic, classic Robs. A really beautiful building, right, really nice bright colors, which I really like. When you build a new object, you want it to look like new, and this is exactly what you get here. It said 250 tons, 250 tons of oil or whatever you want to store in there 750 you have uh, in the middle 600 and then you have 125 and the big ones 2500 uh, perfect so well, where can you find it you can find it in your storages all the way in the end here so we have the vanilla storage that has 1500 rubles it's 17,000 ruble in price the similar would be this one or the big one 2014 uh, 14,000 or 26,000 again vanilla is 16,000 so definitely not a cheaty mod it's priced fairly as Rob's always does link in the description of the video okay Russians are gonna kill me to the true heat power plant if I'm mispronouncing the Cyrillic letters there uh, sorry about that Oleg monolith so this is just a simple one English workers 30 heat to 270 bitumen 3.6 tank 800 80 sorry 80 tons i'm pretty sure that you understand everything written here so in english description would be how many workers 30 uh, how much heat you get to 270 joules i would say or is it cubic meters of hot water we'll see bitumen 2.6 that in that would be daily consumption uh yeah 3.6 tons of bitumen and capacity 80 tons of pretty straightforward now uh, this is a heating plant it uses bitumen unfortunately in this game bitumen is more valuable than fuel because uh, bitumen uh, is kind of cheaper heavy fuel used only for ships and power plants uh, but it's more energy dense but it's way way dirtier but in this game is way way more expensive it's, it's really expensive so i don't know if you want to burn your bitumen in order to uh, heat your homes but you have an option with this mod so it would be found in the heating plant the latest one that would be 60 63,000 rubles compared to vanilla big one is uh, the same price a little bit bigger output and it uses uh, 3.6 I don't I think it would be quite expensive to run it so I would say that this is fairly price mod model it's definitely not a cheaty one because it's way too close to being uh, more or less like the vanilla one just this one uses bitumen but anyway if you like this model go and oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot to show you the all the sides of this model it's pretty simple it has really Really big red chimney and uh, heating plants and storage units outside pretty simple straightforward link in the description of the video the great constructor and small oil power plant uh, communism means Soviet um, authority plus electrification of the whole country Vladimir Ilyich Lenin um, consumption per day oil five tons production per day electricity uh, 300,000 kilowatt hours storage oil 20 tons pollution per year four tons four tons sounds a little bit low but we'll check it uh, building resources work days one time okay we're not gonna skip that part right you have also uh, something else in the end uh, in the Russian but uh, sorry about that anyway uh, what I wanted to say is that uh, this is this is really nice model 
So, uh, small oil power plant. It has five ton of oil uh, consumption. We're gonna compare it to vanilla. We have vanilla now. 300 uh, megawatt hours of power. Yeah, that's a pretty low one. I'm gonna tell you straight away. Uh, we're gonna compare it to other power plants that we have, but this is pretty low. 15, 15 workers working here. That is actually quite high for this. So this is straight away uh, implemented in the price. It looks a little bit too clean. I'm gonna say it looks too clean even for a new power plant. That's my critique. I mean, like, come on. Give me a break. Uh, I consider it critique. Oh, has door there. I was wondering if it has door or not. It's pretty simple. It's small. You can place it anywhere. So let's check it out. What do you have? What do you have? Uh, 300 uh, megawatts of power. Let's compare you to other power plants that we have. Okay, so power plant. We have the small oil power plant, as you can see here. Uh, 32,000 rubles. How does it compare to other oil power plants? Uh, 200,000 rubles, but it has three uh, sorry 210,000 and this one would be uh 210 that would be seven times more expensive more or less seven times more expensive the vanilla is this and it has uh three and a half times more power uh, consumption let me just compare this because uh, consumption is yeah consumption is way more per power production so yeah I, I would I would definitely say this is not achieving more it has more workers and con consumes more oil per kilowatt uh, per kilowatt hour so yeah uh, it's quite realistic mod the only thing I don't like it it's like looks really really clean that's the only thing no, nothing I'm mean, like you can compare this to some other this tank white tank over here you can compare it to something like let's say Rob's this one it, it it's new it's it, but it looks more realistic the whites here so yeah make it more dirty maybe <laughs> that might two cents anyway link in the description of the video i give you volgograd by tintin viking realistic map of volgograd with generous resources and and hill lakes right we're gonna go and check this out i'm gonna show you what it means now hill lakes you're gonna have a lot of them i'm not sure if they're useful or not but um i'm gonna demonstrate all of that uh also we have a really really quite realistic location of the volgograd region okay let's get cracking and see what we have now this is more or less quite quite realistic representation of volgograd this here in the center of the map would be kind of the city center of of Volgograd we have a lot of these little lakes I am really not 100% sure what we're gonna use them for but we have them these lakes I think they're like uh, the textures of the from the fountains but I don't think they are used as a water source you cannot put a pumping station and pump this water but uh, you have it all over the place anyway you have these nice looking lakes uh, in the mountainside now resources again I will just say it's freaking generous just it's not gonna be too challenging the, 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 the biggest I like challenging so the biggest benefit of this map would be the realistic location of today's Volgograd now be, re be prepared this is your coal resources absolutely ginormous iron as well oil wow and then we have the uranium <laughs> uranium is decent and bauxite well decent compared to the other resources but you're not going to be missing any resources it has enormous amounts of wood resource uh, look at look at this i'm showing you now wood everywhere so if you want to start exporting wood this is probably the best map for it it's not really profitable don't go for wood but anyway uh really really interesting location of the map if any of you guys want to develop something like this you have the link in the description of the video again we gonna check it this is quite realistic all of these river bands is really really hyper realistic compared to the vanilla compared to the real life and uh, yeah no vanilla that's it i'm gonna leave it here i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave an nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel we have the description of the video thanks for watching guys and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye